explain to you about the election system. Election system is a way to choose a representative to the nation, to the people of nation, to to the people aspiration to build the nation. And there are two kind of the election system. The first one, uh, the single member district plurality system, and the second one is the representative presentation. The SMDP system is uh, the election system in which the vote the voter is on uh, foot uh, vote only one for only one candidate and the second one is the pr system that the the, the the pr system is the election system in which uh, the, this this type of the electoral system that decide to the to make up of parliament by allocating seat on the basis of the number of vote it's uh, party reaching uh, as as we know this system it it has a uh, advantage uh, the first one is uh, the system uh, actually uh, the the host representative seat is shared fairly between parties and also allow smaller parties to be represented. That means the opposition parties that actually only has a smaller number, they can also contribute to the country. And the third one is to encourage cooperation between parties. That means every parties, everyone have changed to build the nation together. And further also have some ability to offright party list ranking decision. The system also uh, it it has uh, this advantage. So the this this advantage of PR system. The first one is uh, because there are so many candidates, so they may need large ballot paper. And also the second one, because everyone uh, can take uh, change to to take the this position. So maybe there are people like. Uh, maybe to imp they can uh, the system can improve the chance of extremist candidate and the, the third one is increase uh, the incentive of full full buying maybe because the candidate they want the, so uh, the instant way to to win and the, the last one is this commission national of election maybe they get some difficulty and more complex to calculate the election result so this way for me, let's go to the next. I would like to talk about the election in Indonesia and the Netherlands. First, in Indonesia. The right to vote can only be exercised by eligible citizen of Indonesia. And in Indonesia, the edge to be able to vote uh, in 70 years old or uh, more than 70 years old and also people who are married they can uh, be the voters and also in Indonesia uh, police and military they are not be allowed to be voters because they are normal and the second in the Netherlands. In the Netherlands, if we, to be able to be votes are 18 years old and the Dutch citizens. And the Netherlands, like ministers, uh, vice president or number of the council of states, judge the Supreme Court, members of the general board of auditors, Queen's commissioners in a province, they are not able, they are not allowed to be fought. Okay guys, the next, I would like to explain about the similarities of Indonesia and the Netherlands. Go back to many years ago, as we know, the Dutch colony first arrived in Indonesia 
at the end of 16th century looking for a species. Because of that, Indonesia has the similar case with the Netherlands, such as first practice mixed member PR system. Second, the way of how to register to be candidate. The third, unitary system and bicameral system. Fourth, the law organized by obligations lawyer. And the last ones can stand for the election by independent or by party. Okay guys, that's all about the similarities of both countries and how to the election in Indonesia and the Netherlands. Okay, thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Rifat Abdillah and I'm going to explain you about the first is the election system in both Indonesia and the Netherlands works and the second is the minute the amount of number to be able to join seat allocation in both Indonesia and the Netherlands. The first one the election in Indonesia is held every four, five years and in the last election at 20, 2014 uh, there is 14 parties that uh, that qualified to join the election and every party have and every party have 1000 members to join the election and there is to raw to run allocation system is used to determine the winning candidates in Indonesia. As we know, uh, Netherlands practice almost the same way with Indonesia, but the slight different the different can be can be seen is the Netherlands are divided the Netherlands divide is divided into nineteen into nineteen this electoral di this district and those 19 districts are further divided into polling districts. Most political grouping participating in the election will do so in all electoral districts. The first cast for a specific political party in the various electoral districts are add up. So the second thing that I'm gonna to show is the minimum percentage of vote to, ab to be able to join the election in Indonesia and Netherlands. In Indonesia, there is Indonesia required 3.5% of the national vote, and in the Netherlands only required 0.60%. 0.60%. The slight difference can be seen here. That's all for me. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, my name is Ranga, and right now. I will be explaining about the kinds of house representative in Indonesia and the Netherlands and how to be the member of the house of representative in Indonesia and the Netherlands. Okay, the first I want to explain that in Indonesia and Netherlands, there is actually a similarity between both of them. What is the similarity? The similarity is that the House of Representative in Indonesia and the Netherlands is bicameral. What is bicameral? As we know, bi means two. So, bicameral means that the House of Representative in Indonesia and the Netherlands consists of two chambers. In Indonesia, the House of Representative called the House of Representative, or in Indonesia, we can say the one perwakilan rakyat. That is the lower house. And then the second one is People's Consultative Assembly, or Majelis Permusyawaratan Rakyat, which is the upper house. And in the Netherlands, we also have two chambers. The first chamber, the name is the House of Representative or Tweede Kamer, and then the second one is the Senate, or the upper, the upper house, or we can also say as Erste Kamer. 
So, let us explain first about Indonesia. Let's move on to Indonesia first. In Indonesia, the members of the House of Representative are elected directly by the people. So, if anyone wants to stand for the election in Indonesia to be the member of the House of Representative, they have to register in the Komisi Pemilihan Umum or Electoral Council. There are two ways to be standing for election in Indonesia. The first one is via joining the political party and the second is by being an independent candidate. So one should be asking, what is the requirement to be able to start for election? Let me explain. There are criteria that must be fulfilled by the candidates of the House of Representatives. The first one is that they are 21 years old or above. The second, they must believe in God as the first base of Indonesia is Pancasila, it say that the unity of God, so we have to believe in God, and it is very important. The third one is that they have to apply via electoral council. The fourth one is that they are able to speak, write, and read in Indonesian language. The fifth one is that they are not involved in multiple authority as they, as that will make their task become, become distracted. Um, okay, we will ask again, how much, how many seats, how many seats that are being fought for the candidates in the election? You know, Indonesia is a very large country, it's a very populous country. In Indonesia, the candidate will be fighting for 650 seats. Quite a big number, right? Yeah, because the number of voters in Indonesia is 187 million people voting for the candidate who strive for 650 seats for the whole Indonesia. And then, let us move to Netherlands, to the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Actually, because Indonesia was colonized, were, was occupied by the Kingdom of the Netherlands, it is not very different. The practice is quite the same. But, what, is the, what are the criteria to become the candidate of the House of Representatives? The first one is that they must be an eligible voter. So what is the requirement? What are the requirements to be the f eligible voter in Netherlands? There are two main criteria of eligible voters in the Netherlands. The first one is that a person must be 18 years old or above. The second is that a person has to be a Dutch citizen. But even though they are a Dutch citizen, they cannot apply to become a member of the House of Representatives if he or he is or they are first minister, vice president, or members of the Council of the State, the second judge of Supreme Court, the third member of the General Board of Auditors, fourth Queen's Commissioner in a province, and the fourth one, clerk or any other official either chamber. Not only that, but also the people wishing to strive in the election, to start for the election, they need to deposit about 11,000 euros, exactly 11,250 euros to be able to join the election if their party is not being listed yet in the second chamber. And that deposit is not going to be refunded 
if they were if they are lost and also in the netherlands each candidate needs to be supported by at least 25 electors in each district because by supported by being supported by 25 electors minimum in each district it shows that they that the people wants them to be the representative in the house of representative huh i forgot to tell you that the senate is not being elected by the people directly they are elected indirectly by the provincial council and also in the netherlands the people standing for election they are striving for 150 seats allocation quite less if compared to indonesia because the number of voters in the netherlands is also less it is only 12 million voters the whole country which means which means that netherlands is like one tenth of indonesia the numbers of voters uh, okay that's all from me Thank you.